Who will start in this game on Saturday lunchtime? Will we see Ronaldo back in? Will Donny van der Beek come into this team after another impressive, I would say, performance against West Ham? So just like last week, Manchester United have got this Premier League game coming up this weekend after a disappointing midweek fixture. We lost to Young Boys last week. This week, we lost to West Ham. This time, it's Aston Villa coming up and not West Ham. Aston Villa at home, 12.30 on Saturday. Manchester United need to bury that game against West Ham. Manchester United, no doubt going to play a completely different 11. 11 changes against that West Ham team. It didn't work. It backfired, even though West Ham had loads of changes too. Who will start in this game on Saturday lunchtime? Will we see Ronaldo back in? Spoiler, yes, he will. Will Donny van der Beek come into this team after another impressive, I would say, performance against West Ham? This is going to be my predicted 11 show. If you do enjoy it and you do want to, hit that subscribe button, get involved in the community. But let's go straight into this one and waste no time. Dean Henderson, he made his first start of the season. He came back into the squad. I thought he was actually quite impressive against West Ham. Those couple of saves towards the end to keep it a 1-0. But De Gea is back in the team. Come on. After his heroics away at West Ham, De Gea is going to be in this starting eleven until he starts making mistakes. If De Gea goes the whole season and he keeps up this sort of form, I'm sorry, Dean. You're not going to get in the Premier League for Manchester United. You might get a couple of Champions League games here or there, maybe in the group stages, but De Gea looking back to his best. In terms of the back five, I'm pretty sure the back five is going to be settled all season long, really. Sean Maguire, Varane and Wan-Bissaka. Now, Diogo Dalot, I actually thought played quite well against West Ham. I thought if Ronaldo was on the pitch instead of Martial and we had a number nine who actually stayed in the box, I think Ronaldo would have got on the end of a couple of those crosses. They were pretty damn good, if I'm being completely honest. Wan-Bissaka certainly needs to improve in that area of his game. As I've said all along, though, if you keep switching the right winger and you keep doing it so that Wan-Bissaka doesn't have someone who can create a partnership with on the right wing, he's going to struggle to develop that part of his game. And we keep switching it from Greenwood to Lingard to Sancho to plenty of different players. It's going to be tough for Wan-Bissaka to develop that side of his game. In terms of Maguire and Varane, I'm so happy that we've got a proper settled centre-back partnership. We don't have to have these... All last year, we were talking about Maguire and Lindelof. Maguire and Bae, Bae and Lind... Maguire and Varane. That's our centre-back partnership. We've got it sorted, cemented. If they're both fit, they're both starting. And I'm happy about that because you shouldn't really ever have to have that conversation about your centre-backs. If you're building a successful season, your keeper's going to be settled and your two centre-backs are going to be settled. I think we are. De Gea, Maguire and Varane are going to be there. Fingers crossed, hopefully no injuries come in. Now, Luke Shaw, Alex Tellers, what did you think about his performance against West Ham? I don't think I've really seen anything from Tellers since he joined Porto that suggests to me he's going to get anywhere near knocking Shaw out of this team. And Shaw's going to be in there. So there's not really much talk about. I do want to see some more overlapping runs from Shaw in this game. That I will definitely say. But let's move on to midfield. And before I do, a big shout out to One Football. Come on, ladies and gentlemen, you know it. The cracking lads at One Football sponsoring United People's TV throughout September and October. If you haven't already, click the link in the description. It will help United People's TV or show that as a community, sometimes you listen to me. Go over there, download the app, all United news on in one place, all your United stats, all United transfer news, gossip. Hey, even some videos from me somewhere in there, I'm pretty sure. But look, link is in the description. You can download that. Make sure you go over there and get involved if you haven't downloaded it already. I use it all the time and I genuinely would encourage you to do so. All the latest stats on our game, say, against West Ham and in the build-up to Villa here on Saturday, Sunday? Saturday at 12.30. But looking at this United team, as I said, I think that back five is pretty damn settled, man. De Gea, Wan-Bissaka and Shaw as the full-backs and Maguire and Varane as the centre-backs. But as settled as that back five is, our midfield and our front three behind whoever plays up top it's chopping and changing, and I think we'll see some more chopping and some more changing here in this game. What I think we'll see is the return of, the return of McFred. I think McTominay and Fred will start this game. <sighs> no Donny van der Beek in there. Remember, this is my predicted 11. This is what I think Solskjaer is going to put out rather than what I would personally put out. I think after his performance against West Ham in the League Cup and after his 45-minute cameo against Young Boys, I believe that van der Beek has shown enough to earn a start in the Premier League. And at home against Aston Villa, why not, eh? Why not? I play players on form. I, I put, I would like Solskjaer to put players in on form. But the reality is, he really trusts McTominay and Fred. As a partnership, when they're fit, they invariably start for Manchester United. I would genuinely be very surprised if it's anything but McTominay and Fred. And if it is anything but McTominay and Fred, it probably means Pob is going to drop deep rather than Donny starting. He can feel hard done by, if, in my own opinion. But Fred obviously adds that defensive tenacity, if you want to call it that, that maybe Donny doesn't. But I actually thought defensively as well, Donny was quite good. 
against West Ham. But I th- I'm back in. McTominay to come back in. Matic looked more like a an, a younger version of Matic against West Ham until he needed the West Ham playing the balls. Oh, I did quite enjoy that. Don't think Matic will be starting this game. I think McTominay will be the more advanced of the two midfielders, and that's why McTominay and uh, Van der Beek is a combination I know so many of you want to see, but it's a combination I, I don't know whether we will see it, simply because McTominay out of McTominay and Fred is the better going forward. That's why Fred sits deeper. Does that mean that if McTominay and Van der Beek played, that Van der Beek would go further forward and McTominay would sit a little bit deeper? Or does it mean the other way around? I don't know. I'm just unsure if we'll see that combination in the Premier League as much as we all want it. But moving to the front three behind Ronaldo, because of course Ronaldo's starting this game. We'll get into that in a little bit. I've gone for Pogba, Bruno and Greenwood. Again, I'm playing players on form. No Jadon Sancho in there. I thought Jadon Sancho did okay against West Ham. Again, I keep saying this, but Sancho needs to play with fast, intense football all around him. When you're playing with Mata and Martial, you slow it down. You take away that sort of explosive edge from Sancho's game. And when United sped it up a little bit, when he got quick one-twos, quick movement, Sancho was better against West Ham. Go figure. I think he'll come off the bench here, but Greenwood, as we saw, is a 19-year-old man. And Greenwood, when, when he was coming on as a sub against West Ham, Old Trafford was like roaring in anticipation. As I said, it's a 19-year-old making Old Trafford do that. That's the sort of impact he's having this season. And that's the sort of anticipation that he, his, his presence has now. At 19, it's fantastic. I think he definitely starts on form on the right wing. And Pogba, he's starting on the left. His best position inside this squad. You could see potentially McTominay playing alongside Pogba or Fred playing alongside Pogba. With Sancho on the left and Greenwood on the right. Of course you could. This is a predicted 11. This is what I think Solskjaer will start. Who would you start? But I'm going for Pogba there on the left. I want to see him having the sort of Leeds performance. Strikes me that Villa might come. I don't think Villa will sit too deep against us. I think there will be spaces for us to exploit. And that's when Paul Pogba gets the most out of himself. And we get the most out of him in that left wing position. Bruno will of course return to that number 10 role that is just purely his. His and his alone. Maybe you could play Van der Beek there if you want. If you're actually going to rest Bruno Fernandes. But we rested Bruno yesterday. And Van der Beek played deeper. It's a bit strange. I don't really know where Donny fits in. I really want to fit him in, man. I really genuinely do. But we're joint top of the league on points. We've scored more goals in the Premier League than anybody so far. And we've got Cristiano Ronaldo leading the line. Scoring goals galore. Away at West Ham. Scoring against Newcastle. He cannot stop. Young boys too. It's a joke. Absolute joke his start at Manchester United. It was absolutely correct that he was rested against West Ham in the League Cup. I don't think it was correct that the whole team was rested. But Ronaldo is 36. We've got to manage his game time. He'll probably want to play every single game. But we need to manage his game time so that in these games where we need him, in the Premier League where it's in, where the real importance is and the Champions League, that we get the most out of Cristiano Ronaldo. Uh, you're definitely back into score against Villa. You're just back in score every game. Anybody who hasn't done so far, you've just got egg on your face. Ronaldo's just breaking expectations, setting new levels for himself and just constantly getting closer to new records and new milestones. It's phenomenal. He's unreal, he's unbelievable, and he's United, and he's leading the line, and that's why we're joint top of the Premier League on points, and why nobody has scored more goals than us. We've got Pobble, we've got Bruno, we've got Green, we've got Ronaldo, we've got Sancho on the bench, we've got Marcel on the bench, although I've said my piece on him now, although I've got slated that in the comments. I want to quickly head back to that video that I did on Martial, man. It's an, it's an opinion I've had for such a long time, and I'm not, I'm not a toxic fan channel. I hate the concept of that. I'm not at all. I'm a very fair and very balanced person. Just I'm done with it now. United have to be ruthless at this point. Take take the take the sim take that that part away from it, and the facts don't lie with Martial. It is what it is. But that would be my predicted eleven for the game. I think De Gea is going to come back. Of course he is. Short and Wambasaka. I think Wambasaka will definitely keep his spot. He's going to be missing the game against Villarreal in midweek. That's where we'll see Diogo De Lot, Maguire, and Varane. Happy days. I want to see United play with a higher line here at Old Trafford against Villa. Early kickoff. Get. In amongst it, as Carrick would say. Get in there early. First 10, 15 minutes, put the pressure on Villa. Get that early goal. Get the old traffic crowd behind you. And you can see United dominate this game. Don't let Villa get into it. Maybe they can sneak a goal like West Ham did. It makes it difficult. Makes it very difficult. In midfield, I'm going for McTominay and Fred. Fred is back. Donny, I think, can feel hard done by. I think he's played well in his cameo appearances. But... Solskjaer trusts McFred more than anybody else in this entire United squad. Whether that's a hindrance or not, we'll see on Saturday. But I'm predicting both of them to start. I think Pop will start on the left. I think Bruno through the middle, Greenwood on the right, and Ronaldo up front. That's my predicted 11 for Villa. 12.30 on Saturday. Who will get in your team? You let me know what you think about that in the comments below. Make sure, as I said before, subscribe to United People's TV if you are new and you've enjoyed the video. 
And as I said, big thank you to OneFoot for sponsoring the video. Hit that link down in the description. Click download. Download the app. Support United People's TV and support OneFootball. But who's in your team? You let me know in the comments.